Have you ever wanted to make chili oil at home? <laughs> Have you ever wanted to make chili oil from home? If you ever been to a Chinese restaurant and you had chili oil, it's so freaking good, but it's actually really easy to make. This is all you need to make it. We're gonna add some other cool optional stuff to amp up the flavor a little bit, but if you want a really basic and really delicious chili oil, this is all you need. So let's get started. The first thing we wanna do, one cup of oil. All you need is a pretty neutral flavored oil, canola oil in this case. And we're gonna put it on medium high heat for three to five minutes. We're gonna let it come up to temperature. Just keep an eye on it though, okay? You do not wanna go any longer than five minutes, otherwise you're gonna have a hot mess on your Hands. And we'll combine the rest of the ingredients while it's heating up. All right, so the basic ratio is this. For every cup of oil you have, you're gonna use one fourth cup of chili flakes. Since we're using one cup of oil today, that means a quarter cup of kochigaru. You can honestly even use red pepper flake. I've done it in the past, but today I'm using kochigaru, which is my preferred method. And did you know that four tablespoons is a quarter cup? Say what? You can stop here if you want, but we can add more fun things. What I like to do is... You like to spill things, clearly. Oh my god. A tablespoon of sesame sheets. Just a tiny drizzle of sesame oil. Don't put too much though, right? Because this is just for flavor here. So just a tiny bit. That's good. One bay leaf. This is star anise. Kind of has a black licorice flavor. This was a little tiny guy, so I'm going to put in another little nub. If you want to be like super authentic, I would say put in some Sichuan peppercorn, but I just don't have any. So you can just throw in some black pepper, fresh cracked. 20 cranks. That's pretty much it. All we need to do is wait for the oil to come to temperature and we're just gonna dump it all in here. Carefully. There it is. Let it cool for like an hour or so, then you can throw in the fridge. You have homemade chili oil. This can last in the fridge for months on end. So here's the final product. I had to do a take two because I actually messed up the first one. Here is my first take. The oil didn't get hot enough, so when I poured it in, the chili flakes didn't bubble really fast. Now, you know you did it correct when the oil on contact just starts bubbling like crazy. And you can see on this one, the color got a lot darker here. And you can actually see some of the chili flakes here are rising to the top. This will still taste delicious, but like this is what you're looking for. Just a disclaimer, when you do this, your whole place might smell like oil. Good oil. Leave the windows open. Put the fan on. Put the fan on. This is so good at any sort of Asian food. So if you make like a fried rice, a lo mein, a ramen stir fry. Add it on your dumplings. Add it on your dumplings. Everything on my channel so far, I would put this on. Except the bread muffins and the almond milk. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you want to see next. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.